how deep the Father's love for us. How vast beyond all measure that he would give his only son to make a wretch his treasure. How great the pain of searing loss. The Father turns his face away as wounds that mar the chosen one. Bring many sons and daughters to glory. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I am just Joycelyn, and welcome to Morning Inspiration. And y'all, that song, oh my goodness, was in my spirit. <laughs> and y'all, our God, um, he loves us so much. He gave his only son for us. He loves us. And, um, this scripture um, oh, that I'm talking about today, and again, if this is your first time um, tuning in uh, to this segment, um, basically it's morning inspiration. As God gives me inspiration, I share it with you, and I would love for you to leave comments and us to share this time of together. And so um, the scripture that I'm going to go uh, through today is uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. And um, again, if, you, if these scriptures are, are a blessing to you, um, they're found in the Bible. Yes. And then also, too, uh, this is a 40 days of prayer by uh, Rick Warren that I've been studying. And I mentioned in a previous video, I studied with my mother and my, uh, my uh, sister, and it was really awesome. And so I'm studying a second time, uh, getting more inspiration from God. And so um, it says this, 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. No eye has seen, no ear has heard. And no mind has imagined the things that God has prepared for those who love him. Amen. Amen. And y'all, that scripture just really, really got me. Because um, first off, the things that jumped out to me is the use of the words I, ear, and mind. And all of those are connected to action words that go along with it. And so your eyes, your ears, your mind, those are all connected to your senses. And your eye, seeing, ear, hearing, and mind, your thoughts, the way you imagine, the things that you process. And y'all, I'm telling you, this thing really, this scripture really, really touched me because um, it was reminding me that God, oh God, he has so much, the things that he has for us, when he brings it to fruition, and when I say fruition, I mean when he actually brings it to be, nobody is going to be able to take credit but him. No eye, nobody has seen it. Uh, nobody has heard of it. Nobody has even thought about it. So when it comes to be, who can get the credit? Only God. You know, sometimes you have people in your life and be like, you remember I helped you with that. Or you remember that this right here happened. But when God brings to pass what he has for you, not only will it blow your mind, but it will be something that you can sincerely say, I know that this was only God. How many of y'all ever experienced anything like that? <laughs> and God loves us so much. His love is so deep that he desires to have deep relationship with us. He desires to give us good gifts. We talked about the other day. And um, the thing about it, you know, as exciting as this word is and as much as it encourages me, I know that there is somebody out there right now that you don't really feel like that. Um, you might be sitting in the park. You might be driving in your car. You might be feeling like and contemplating maybe life would be better if I wasn't even here. And my friend... I'm just here to let you know that God sees you. He loves you. Just trust him. And I know that it might be rough right now. Um, you know, I was talking to a friend the other day, and we were talking about uh, COVID-19. 
and about how, you know, things has just really, you know, you know, people feel separated and sometimes can feel a little depressed. But truth be told, folks were feeling kind of like that beforehand. But if you would just trust God and just believe and know that he is standing right there and he cares and he loves you. And I'm not telling you that just because of it's something I read in the Bible. I'm telling you that because I know exactly how you feel. Um, it was a couple of months ago at the end of 2019. I was um, downtown and I was running and I was standing at the riverbank and I was thinking to myself, God, it probably would be better if I wasn't here. And so I know how you feel. And even when I walked away, um, I felt so much pain and I was feeling so much hurt and emptiness that um, I didn't hear anything. Um, I was just standing there looking at God's glory and I was looking at all that he created. And I was like, God, why, why do you have me here? And probably be better if I wasn't here. And I'm telling y'all, even at that lowest point, when I walked away immediately, <sighs> immediately, y'all, I started to feel, um, I felt so hopeless, y'all, and I felt like I was by myself, but I am so, so thankful to God that I stayed. I'm so thankful to God because when I see all the things that he is doing in my life and he's using me to do, if I had ended my life right then, it would have been a huge mistake. And so if you are at home, if you are in your car, if you are in that place where you hope nobody finds you, I just want to encourage you and let you know that his love for you is so deep. And even if right now you feel like that you um, just know that that's temporary and Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy, and he tries to be real good at his job. But know this, that our Father is all-powerful, that he loves you, that he sees you, and great, whew, great are the things that you will do even more than his son. Jesus healed the sick. He raised the dead. He spoke life into people. But in, when he was getting ready to leave this earth, he told the disciples, greater things you will do. Greater things you will do. And so that Holy Spirit is inside of you. And even if you are somebody who does not believe in God, I come to encourage you and let you know that God desires that no one perish and he loves you and he wants awesome and wonderful things for you. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. They got me. They got me. Um, so that's the morning inspiration uh, for today. Uh, I hope that that empowered you. And I hope that that'll help you to go on one more day uh, because I'm telling y'all, the only reason why I'm standing here is because of him. The only, sitting here, the only reason why I'm still here is because of him. And um, mm, amen. So please go, go look at that scripture, 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. And remember, God prepared things for you, which means before you knew him, before you received him, before you accepted him into your life, he was already getting your purpose, getting your future together. Just ponder that for a minute. He was already thinking about you before you were thinking about him. I'm telling you, right? That gives me. <laughs> and to end out this session, y'all, um, so God put this on my heart this morning to affirm someone. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I was like, okay, God. And so this beautiful woman of God. <laughs> I just want to take this time to just affirm her. Yes, she is the beautiful, awesome, wonderful, encouraging Lindsay Freeman. <laughs> and she is the owner of a business called Divine Hooks. And y'all, she is, oh my goodness, if your kids need help with math, she's an amazing mathematician. 
She is smart. She is beautiful. She is a prayer warrior. This woman of God is just amazing, y'all. When I'm telling you, when she's teaching kids, when she's affirming other women, when she's speaking into their their lives, y'all, she is amazing. And I love her so much. When I got ready to start um, uh, playing, I had a virtual music uh, fest to do. And I was getting ready to do the fest, and my keyboard went out. And I was like, God, what am I going to do? You know, and so I was trying to, you know, find one. And, man, she called me. We were talking. And she was like, oh, I know somebody with one. My uncle's got one. And I'm telling you, y'all, she brought that keyboard to me. And when she brought it to me, it was raining. I'm not talking about baby rain, y'all. I'm talking about, like, you know, you know, Forrest Gump said that big old fat rain. Man, and she brought it to me, and it blessed me so much, and I was able to complete my concert, and I'm so thankful for her. And so this is my time of affirmation. Yes, yes. Y'all, she is an amazing woman of God, and Lindsay, I love you. Uh, I thank you for being my friend through thick and thin. And so, Again, that was my affirmation period. <laughs> and y'all try that today. You know, there is so much negativity going on in the world. Y'all, I promise you, if you encourage just one person, it will make you feel so much better. God created us to be um, communal. He created us um, to to want to have relationship and to want to be with others. So y'all, y'all affirm somebody today. It's really not that hard. Just go to that person and tell them something because I guarantee you, I guarantee you, especially if God put it on your heart, go ahead and do it, y'all, because they might need to hear that word. All right, y'all, so that's it for today's uh, inspiring morning inspiration. I hope you have an amazing day, and be blessed.